very weird. T3, 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 T3 Media. All right, hello guys. Welcome back to another episode of Talking Through the Media's entertainment news for fans by fans. I am your host Chris Fagan, and joining me once again is the Red Majesty. Is the queen? Is is that is even a thing? The Queen of Everything. <laughs> There we go. I'll take it. I'll take it. I would have loved to be been the Scarlet Witch, but that's cool too. Oh, okay. I, I didn't know if you wanted the title because I, I'm pretty sure there'll be somebody out there that'd be fighting you uh, for it uh, uh, out there from the uh, from this. I, I wouldn't want to invoke her name like like Thanos did and make that mistake because you know that that didn't work out so well for him. Uh, yeah, yeah, the Olsen twins will put a hit out on me. Yeah, sure. exactly. It's like, uh, what the, well, we're a brand, okay? <laughs> don't even, don't even think about that. But what's going on, Sarah? How you doing? <laughs> I'm great. How are you doing? I am outstanding. I, I realized that. I, oh, look, I, I got. I'm gonna fix that graphic. I got you. I got you like all synced down. So I'll just, I'll just lower myself up there. I'll fix that later. Don't worry about it. <laughs> but I'm I'll sit up tall. All right, it's okay. <laughs> no problem. <laughs> Well, guys, you know the, the drill. We uh, Every week we go through three entertainment news topics and we talk about it right here on the show. And today is no different. But before I get into that, first, I want to just remind you guys, after you see this stream here on Talking Through the Media's YouTube channel, you can always catch it on a podcast. If you don't have time to watch it on YouTube, you can catch us now on SoundCloud, iTunes and on Spotify. You guys out there voted with uh which platform you watch the show mostly or listen to the uh podcast mostly and you said uh spotify and i was kind of surprised about that so i'm like you know what let me plug spotify a little bit more and see if that uh, moves the needle a little bit but guys you know the drill put it in the box if you have any questions comments during this live stream if you're out there uh we're here at a new time i know some of you guys are used to us being out like three hours from now but if you join us live you can always put your comments or suggestions or questions any concerns you want us to go over put it in the box below with a super chat or on streamlabs.com t3 media slash tips become a patron to uh support the channel at, on any level you choose and we always appreciate that and you can always find us on social media as you can see right here with these lovely uh assistants of, of panelists that are right here you know making me look better every day because i don't know what the hell i'm doing i am so thankful that sarah uh, agreed to to help me out with the show today and sarah if you don't mind we have like i said three topics to talk about did you say you were going to start us off with the first one yeah i'll read the first one no Outstanding. problem let's uh, talk about the first topic of the week okay so First topic is the movie news from The Hollywood Reporter. Although he played villain Deacon Frost in 1998's Blade, the 47-year-old Stephen Dwarf on Monday said the current superhero films are what's wrong with the business. And he said, I quote, I still hunt out the good shit because I don't want to be in Black Widow. It looks like garbage to me. It looks like a bad video game. I'm embarrassed for those people. I'm embarrassed for Scarlett. I'm sure she got paid five, seven million bucks, but I'm embarrassed for her. I don't want to be in those movies. I really don't. I want to, I'll find the kid director that's going to be the next Stanley Kubrick and I'll act for him instead, end quote. What do you think about that, Chris? How does that sound to you? I think that was some um, uh, part of this. Uh, I know when when we quoted him, he used uh, a, a colorful word, and I said that because I'm a, a, a you know a greedy Gus that I wanted to try to make this this show a little bit cleaner. I said, but for the live chat, I'll, I'll I don't care. I'm gonna abandon that for it. I, I'm about to go into a rant, and I'll edit it out when we segmentize it later. But the fuck are you doing, Stephen? I don't I don't like that. Like what what the hell? Like this is, I mean, you're an actor and you know how the business works. Where do you get off on? And I like Steven. I, lo I loved him in Blade. But let me be honest with you, dude. That's the only thing I loved you in because that's really one of the only things I remember you in. I know I've seen you in a lot of other things too. But really, when it comes to your career, what are the things that, that fans are really mostly approaching you on? It's Blade, a comic book movie. And, and you got, this was... One of the things that's arguably one of the, the, the movies that launched the, um, the direction that comic book movies are, are that eventually went through, uh, to and how they're taken more seriously today. Blade, P 
people didn't even know it was a comic book movie. Uh, that's how good it was. And, and it, it surprised a lot of people. And you did a great job. That's great. But to shit on what other actors are doing, when you know how it is in this business, when what the hell did Scarlett, uh, Scarlett Johansson, I almost said Scarlet Witch. What did Scarlet Witch <laughs> ever do to you uh, to, deserve, uh, to deserve that? Well, I mean, I don't know where he got, got off on it. I don't know if he was just having a bad day. But it's not like, it's not like uh, uh, Kevin Feige was all like beating down his door, blowing his phone up. Like, Stephen, come on, you gotta be in my movie. And then he's, no, just beating him off with a stick. I'm too much of an artist. Or, uh, that's fine. You can, he could have easily have just said, it's not for me. It's not the thing I want to do anymore, even though you've already done it. Or it's not the thing I want to do in my career now because I, I see something different for my career. You can say that. Without being a dick, that's just that's just my opinion. But was he offered this? I don't know if he was offered this. I couldn't find anything on the web about that. Exactly, he wasn't offered a damn thing. <laughs> yeah. It wasn't. It's not like I said. It's not like he was offered anything. But oh, I can go on for a long time about this. But what about you? What do you What do you yeah. think about the comments that he made about uh, about the industry? So first off, I want to say Blade, amazing movie. Amazing movie, and I hope they bring him back in the MCU. I hope they do. I would love to see a Blade character, mm -hmm. even Deacon Frost, back pulled back in. On what Stephen Dwarf said, this to me sounds like he's just upset. He's He's been scorned by something, and a lot of people are really mad when Disney bought Marvel. Like right. they're really, a lot of people got really mad. They were really concerned about the quality of the characters and the movies and everything like that when it, when it came to Disney sucking them in. Um, Cause Disney has a way of sometimes softening things um, right. and kind of making it more commercial instead of saying true to the original work. Exactly. But I will say they've done a good job in my opinion with the Marvel movies, with especially with the amount of money they've been able to put into it. Some of the parts are even better than they were, would have been otherwise. So the, especially like where they could take the characters, the, the galaxy scenes, all that stuff, all the CGI. So I appreciate that. Right. But to me, this sounds like a 47 year old man being upset that he wasn't invited to the party. So now he's got to shit on all of it. So that's, it sounds like, it sounds like he needs to take a minute have a breath, think about what he's going to say before he he goes in and craps on other people because I'm excited about the Black Widow movie. Right. I'm, I'm more excited it's now. Kick yeah. butt. It's going to kick butt. I'm excited. It's going to have some great action scenes. It is going to be commercialized. And, you know, Steven Dorff has really gone the more artistic route since his Blade days, okay? Right. So he has done more movies with a lot more in depth, more actor, actor movies. Right. And so that I can appreciate. And he is a great actor. He right. is, he's great at what he does. And yeah. so mm -hmm. I think that maybe he's upset that. Like maybe, maybe he's he upset. Thinks, <laughs> well, I think in this statement, you know, he's, he's gone a little overboard and I'm sure yeah. he'll regret it after he cools down a bit, but maybe he's worried that they've softened some of the characters that he would have loved to, to bring to light. So, um, you know, he's really become an actor's actor lately. And, you know, that is something to be appreciated. But he he definitely is an unhappy camper in this comment. And, for those, sure. yeah, and, and those comments for sure. It's like, uh, I, 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 I don't know. It's that's you're you're 100 percent right on it. It's it seems like I don't know something something got in his cereal that morning that he did not like <laughs> because he, yeah. it's just and you know what? And I just realized Thank you. He needs to be so thankful right now that Black Widow wasn't the first like female led uh, movie, uh, comic book hero movie out of the gate. Like Wonder Woman, like imagine if he would have said something like this. And if Black Widow was the first female led uh, superhero movie to come out uh, and like forever to, like, at this level would be the first one to come out. Yeah. It, he would have been uh, so many hashtags on, on it for that. What do you, what yeah. do you think about that? I, I, he probably would have been crucified, but I think his comment and his rant is more focused 
focus towards the story, right. the director, the production than it is towards Scarlett, oh, you know, because he said he was embarrassed for her. He didn't say anything about her acting chop. She's a good actor, too. Exactly. And, you know, she did get paid. Like if somebody said, hey, I want you to do this movie. I'm going to pay you five or seven million bucks. I'd be like, yeah. What, what did you think about? Why did there's a, there was something that's right there it. in that comment? Why did he bring that up? Why did he need to bring up the salary? Yeah, because, she probably got paid five to seven million. Was, because that's oh. that's what it's also about. That's it's about the what money. It's also about yeah. it is about the money. Ultimately, Disney bought it. Disney putting it putting it out in theaters. Mm -hmm. Disney's going to make their money back. Exactly. So they are paying extra for all of these really big stars to be able to do these really big movies. And that's why there's so many movies coming out still with the Marvel series. So, I mean, I'm enjoying it. I like it. I'm not complaining about it, yeah. but I'm just saying it is, it is big business for somebody. It's, it's just and that it's just it, it was, to me, it was that, that was that, um, it was just the way he was saying it. Like, like how he was doing these movies when uh, they weren't really still being taken serious at the time. And I made an un, uh, a character who was virtually unknown and, and I helped make it uh, this. It just came off to me like it's like such yeah. a, an arrogant thing to say uh, uh, towards him. And I wasn't saying that, that thank goodness that he didn't say this in Black Widow was the first mm -hmm. uh, one bec uh, because he was being sexist or anything towards Scarlett. I know he wasn't doing that, but that's how some people are going to treat him uh, on it. Well, people you, are going to take, are gonna take whatever it. pieces they can d get just to hate on other people. That's what Twitter and the on. internet has become that's what, nowadays. Yeah, <laughs> that's what it's for. So, I mean, really, if you want to hate on somebody, there's there's a group of people out there that agree with you somewhere. That right. They also had a bad day and they decided to shit on somebody. So that's just what it is. All the bullies go to Twitter, faceless, faceless people. But I mean, I think that he's, he's having a rant. Yeah. He'll be sorry tomorrow. And he really did take that character, Deacon Frost, and he made, he something did something out amazing of it. with it. So I, if, I didn't if, know anything about that character until that movie. Yeah. But I know Blade was amazing and you're right. People didn't know that it was a comic book because it was so well played. But back then people didn't really care right. about comic books or bring it, or they didn't even consider them graphic novels or real artistry or real works of art or right. literature for that matter. And and they're, they're, you know, they become these wonderful things. And I'm so glad that, that they're being made into movies and more people can enjoy them. And and yeah. I want Blade back at MCU. Disney, if you're listening, bring them back. Oh yeah. Bring them back. Already, already Mobius has said vampires, vampires exist within the Marvel universe, vampires and zombies. So show me. Yeah. See. And, and so, yeah, like you said, you're right. That's what Twitter is for. That, that's uh, you guys share your thoughts. Let us know what you guys think uh, about that. Um, I'm just, I'm just waiting for the hashtag, not my Deacon Frost to start uh, pretty soon. Uh, did I say that? Oh I no. <laughs> I, uh, look, let me be, let me be clear. I still love, <laughs> love him. And uh, as an actor, but that was a, a, a very not wise, very dumb thing to do for your career. <laughs> to, to, yeah. to do that to a, a, a fellow people in the business who weren't even you I mean you don't even know this, he could have been a week or a month away from getting that phone call and it, for all he knows and now maybe they're like well okay maybe I won't I don't call. think he'd do it I don't think he would do it maybe. I think at this point in his career he's too focused on like deep acting work and that's really he's amazing at it but you get, so i don't but think he get, would do you get scarlett johansson is the oscar uh winner you, you get all of these yeah she's great all of these uh actors who you would never would think would be in a, a present day comic book movie and well comic book movies have changed so, so much, much. Like exactly. they're real they're you, real character development they're not just facade characters anymore what warner so brothers uh, there could have been a character maybe a, 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 a not an important role but for example if they if when if they i heard they're in pre-production they're, they're moving forward with it joker 2 we got a role yeah. for you steven i think you'd be perfect to play this person maybe one of the orderlies that's in the arkham uh, asylum that's you know, abusing, you know, the Joker inside. Small role, but it's great and we think you'd be perfect for it. Something like that. 
You, I, hey, hey, Chris, have you heard there are no small roles? Only <laughs> small actors. <laughs> only small actors. Well, there you go. <laughs> but but I mean, something like that, I could have seen him. Some, and and I, if I was Warner Brothers, I'd have been like, I like Stephen Dorff. I would have. I'm just I'm just speculating. Don't 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 start yeah. that rumor that that uh, Warner Brothers was about to cast Stephen Dorff in, in Joker too, because I I'm not saying that I was just using that as an example. But that'd be funny if that was uh that'd be interesting if that was the case. I bet if that is the case, it's probably not anymore. And like you said, maybe you wouldn't even take it. Question is, guys, let us know what you guys think. What do you guys think about that whole thing? Uh, do you think? Uh, that he made a mistake. You think he's just sticking, sticking up to, for his uh, his principles as, as an actor. Wherever you uh, land on that question, put it in the box below. Let us know what you guys think and just talk about it. We'll talk about it more on uh, upcoming We Got Your Mail. And it was something else in uh, in the whole world, in the, in the realm of... Uh, oh, that's not it. I'm going to stall for time because I'm opening up the uh i i accidentally closed it i for well the if you need to solve for time we can talk about how much i like the movie blade well we, that, the then, then we'll go we'll go into a whole thing on that i i got i finally got I it open but uh <laughs> i got the, the second That's topic a good is, movie it, 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 good what? movie I love, and, and it's one of my it's my blade favorite. 2 was good too i like that one i might like that more than the first one it was good for the second topic of the week, uh, it comes from Disney Plus. So, uh, June 2001, The Good, The Bart, and The Loki was announced. It is the second promotional short from The Simpsons after The Force Awakens from its nap in 2021. Loki teams up with Bart Simpson after being banished from Asgard, creating a cross-world event that plays homage to the heroes and villains of the Marvel Cinematic Universe. The promotional poster for the short was inspired by the poster of, of Avengers Endgame in 2019. The Good, The Bart, and The Loki was released today on Disney Plus alongside with the fifth episode of Loki, at which we will not go into depth and talk about uh, today because I've signed a, uh, a, a agreement with Sarah. She says that we're not allowed to talk in depth with Loki about Loki. So I, I did a little loophole. <laughs> what did you think about the uh, the good, the part, and the Loki? So I liked it, of course, Loki stuff, but um, I like all Disney shorts. Or Simpson shorts, I it was short, it's just short. and uh, the best thing you got out of it was a few memes and some very short scenes, and you just wish they would have done a little bit more, or you would have seen a little bit more. But it was six minutes, and that included the credits, so it really wasn't much of anything. And what I really hated about the whole thing was after each little scene, very very short scene, you get credit. So you got all these credits <laughs> busting up on all this cute animation with the Simpsons being, you know, all these characters in the mm -hmm. MCU. And it's just like, oh, is it over? Oh, well, no, wait, let me check the time. Yeah. Let me see it, pause it and see how much how much more of the bar I've got left before I can stop watching this. But I, I mean, I liked it. Didn't need the credits breaking it up, but it really wasn't much of a story. It was just, it was cute. It was like looking at bunnies in a pet store. It was well, not in a pet store because that's sad. Yeah. yeah. Bunnies in the wild. There we go. Bunnies in the wild. <laughs> Where they belong. Good. Where good they belong. Yeah. Good save. Well, you're over here. See, <laughs> once again, once again, we have my uh, my friend here. Uh, she reminds me of, uh, she's reminding me of, of my wife, uh, Joy, uh, uh, complaining about six minutes of, of, of enjoyment. I, my wife told me that six minutes was long enough, so now I'm going to have to have an argument with her now. Um, but you're right. <laughs> <laughs> you're right. Didn't think I was going to go there, did you? No. My, my, but you're right. It was too short. I thought it was going to be a full, like, 30-minute episode. I thought we were going to, like, really go into this, but... I thought it was going to be like 10, 15 minutes, like yeah. maybe a little story or something and then be over Yeah. because the Star Wars ones were a little story Yeah. and then they were over. You look at the, the Maggie Simpson Star Wars ones and stuff like that. It was a cute little story where they worked in the Star Wars characters and then the end was the end where right. this was just one scene and then it could be a little bit related to the next scene, but then you got the credits in between and it's just like, what is, why is this happening? Now, I know we said we, we now the reason why before you guys start freaking out, I am going to do a, a Loki uh, review 
I think uh, later on after the show, uh, so guys, stay tuned for that Vag uh, Vaga Bondage is or, or uh, our Instagram. She's been on the show before. I think I'm saying it uh, right. We're gonna do a, a, a talk, and you, Sarah, you're gonna do a, a Loki review tomorrow on your. This is the time. Here's the plug on on your YouTube <laughs> channel. You want to tell the guys about that? Yeah. So my friends and I, um, Scotty and Chip, we do a YouTube. It's a vlog right now, and we're going to end up putting it out on um, Spotify and stuff. Um, but we talk about Marvel, and right now we're doing the Loki series where we rant and rave and make jokes and say inappropriate things in our in our little YouTube channel and um, about all that is Loki and Marvel. And we've got a long list of things we're going to review coming up. So check us out within the guild, within the guild. There you go. I got you fixed right there. I had to center you real quick. But yeah, within the guild on YouTube and on, you said it's on uh, uh, podcast as well, you, uh, Spotify. And it will be. It will not be. just yet. It will okay. be. We got, we've got big plans. It's still a new channel. We're mm -hmm. working on it. Loving it though. There Loving you go. The experience. Got, yeah. I, want, I just want to make sure to get you on camera while you were, while you're drinking. So professional. I love it. I love it. <laughs> I'm all, everybody knows on this show, I'm always teasing people. I'm always trying because people always tease me on my own. This is this on my own platform. I'm always getting picked <laughs> on and teased, but that's that's really honestly that's a uh, that's a reason to get you on the show. You can get you can throw a good zinger at me. Uh, you're definitely going to be on the show. You just want to get roasted. On I always want to get roasted. It's my uh, <laughs> Joy says I I have a type and that's just it. But uh, I got. I, I, lo I love uh, I love when you were what you had to say on the uh, on your YouTube channel. You guys were very entertaining and you guys know your stuff way more than I do. I mean, I love this stuff, but I love t listening to people who really get nerd sweaty about it and just like, uh, did you see that image that was hiding behind the, the wall behind Loki's left ear? I noticed that that proves Mephisto will become like I, the stuff like that. I, I like that uh, kind it's of talk. It's a lot of fun. It's a lot of fun. And we have special guests come on. Our last guest um, mm -hmm. was actually a stand in for, for the Sylvie character. So the Sylvie Loki. And she gave us a lot of insight about what it was like on set and, and some secrets that we end up finding out later. Um, so it was super fun. If you yeah, if you don't mind, I'll I'll uh, I'll put the uh, link to it on the yeah. uh, community tab for you guys That'd on be great. our channel. Thank you. But yeah, go check out within the guild. A lot of mm -hmm. fun, and uh, you can see more of this. This, this, right there. this mug. Right there. Yeah, like yeah. like just like they they say mm -hmm. on every episode, a little less this and a little more this. <laughs> That's all. That's what. You, so you, uh, so you guys will enjoy less Chris on on the screen. <laughs> But uh, we have one more topic uh, to go through for the weekend. And uh, you said you were going to do this one too, right? Appreciate yeah, it. Yeah, I'll read this one. My, okay. uh, my voice so, is trash. <laughs> <laughs> so why is that trending? Who is Amber Heard's new... Who's the father of Amber Heard's new baby? Amber Heard has revealed that she secretly welcomed her first child via surrogate early this year. On Thursday, the 1st of July, the 35-year-old actress announced the news in an Instagram post. Heard is currently in a relationship with cin cinematographer Bianca Bouti, I guess. But Boutte, I'm going to say Boutte. And, okay. <laughs> and the pair have been dating since January 2020. But according to a source who spoke with Page Six, the actress made the decision to have a child on her own long before meeting her girlfriend. And she is, I don't even know. And oh, she is a Onag, uh, Onag, Onag Soul Legal uh, Parent. Is that Onag, her? Is, is that, that the name? Is that the name? Onag, Onag, Onay, I, I, maybe. Onay, I, I, I heard it pronounced. I know the middle name is Paige, after, named after her mother and okay. all that. But, uh, but maybe that's a typo. But uh, everybody, I was one. Uh, I was Onay like, sounds better than Onag. Onag, Onag, Onag. It's Unagi. If you guys watch Friends, uh, remember that Unagi episode? No. That's probably not how oh. you say it. Uh, that's yeah. Uh, that's that's. Uh, I know Unami, which is that flavor profile of of that. that well, now we're now we're just making fun of an infant's new name. So okay. No, I'm, I'm just say. trying to figure out how to say that. <laughs> There's two O's in the front, so it's O O N A G H. How'd you say that? How would you say that, everybody out there? Come on. Unanana. Yeah. There you go. Anag. That's, no, that's probably not right. Yeah. 
good luck in middle school. But the, uh, <laughs> but the, the, I was like, I didn't even know she was dating anybody. Everybody's always, uh, when you think about Amber Heard right now, it's going to, it's going to get somebody's, uh, blood, uh, uh, boiling one way or the other because of everything that went down with, uh, Johnny Depp. I was like, did Johnny Depp and Amber Heard just secretly like, you know, like come to an understanding one night under, under the moonlight and then went back to court to fight uh, again, duke it out in the finals and in the court again. But no, she had a, uh, it was a surrogate and, and she did it, I guess in, in secrecy. So it's that, that was, that's interesting. I, I just, I, I, I think it's, I, you know, I think it's wonderful. Anybody becoming a, a parent of any kind. So congratulations to her first, I want to say. And, um, you know, I think that her and Johnny Depp's whole thing, far too long. I, I, I'm tired of hearing about it. It's been, it's, it's just been dragging one out. insanity after the other. And it's just like, it's like, why is this still news? That's why it's like, called. Why? why is that trending? But then yeah. that was the, that, that was my original uh, uh, question in the beginning about because so we were we were talking before earlier this week we were talking about how uh why is was that or I don't know if it was you or somebody else who asked me that question why it seems that uh Amber Heard was un, like untouched as far as when people wanted her to be replaced from Aquaman but Johnny mm-hmm. Depp got replaced from from well, his uh, from Johnny his Depp's stood down like he decided not to do it mm-hmm. so she like she had the choice to do it or not to do it. And she went forward with it. So, I mean, I can understand why she did because in her, her mind, she didn't do anything wrong. I'm surprised that Johnny stepped down because I would think in his mind, he's also thinking he didn't do anything wrong, but I mean, he's at the point in his life that maybe he's not doing as much, you know, and if any of the, any of the stuff that they were saying about him, that people have come out and said, if any of that's true, I mean, those reasons alone could be why he's, you know, taking Stepping a step down. back because the, the the whole legal issues that have been going on for years and years have cost must millions of dollars, I'm sure. Yeah. And it's just it's at the point of just ridiculousness at this point. And it's hurt them both. It's hurt both of their careers. It's hurt both their reputations. So it's like, what's the point? What's left to fight over? Well, I, I think if I don't know if that lawsuit is still up there, but he's still, I think, trying to sue for like what defamation or something like that, and uh, yeah. it's a fifty million dollar lawsuit. He's still trying to get something out of it. I, 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 I agree that neither one of them should have like stepped down. I don't, I don't, me personally, I don't care if a person, if an actor gets recast or not. If even if I, I love them in the role or or, or not. I understand, you know, with the drama, people might want to uh, step down or maybe the powers that be are like, we don't want to go keep going through this because, you know, you're you're bringing all this attention to us. So we're asking you to step down kind of a thing. I understand one way or uh, or the other. Um, People had a problem with him stepping down and her not uh, stepping down. And you guys got to understand when one of the reasons that was explained to me was when he made his. his lawsuit about like defamation and uh, a character being called an ab- abuser and everything. It was proven in that court that Amber's claim had some credibility to it. So in a way he, he put himself out there because he didn't have to, uh, to take that step to sue for that. And maybe if he didn't, you know, uh, this probably all of this probably wouldn't have happened to where we're seeing it today with him. Oh, it definitely step. wouldn't oh, have happened. Oh no, Sorry, it would have. I mean, I mean, like him stepping but, like, down. I mean, if you, well, yeah, but if you think about all the the actors and directors and everybody in Hollywood, at some point, a lot of the the guys over the years will get accused of something, and whether it's true or not, or get sued over something, and then they just handle it outside a court, or they handle it in a closed courtroom, right. which they could have done that. Exactly. But they chose to be very public about the whole thing. All right. Like, granted, the courts over in the UK, it's it's different than it is here, and it's, but. They could have kept it hush hush, but and, they both chose to step out and talk about it as and, well. and record they, each other and and yeah. and leak this put leak it, that. put all of that stuff out they, for they the for the for the court of public chest, opinion. But they chose not to. Yeah. Yeah. And for the and for the longest, the the uh, the studios and whatnot were staying out of it. But the second a decision was made on one on one part of the case where it was like 
no, Johnny, you you lost this one. She, you, we, we have proven, or she has proven, some some form of abuse. And since you tried to sue for that defamation, you know that that's actually now it's official. That is on the records uh, in that yeah. in that court, and that's basically what Warner Brothers really made the decision to ask him to step down on based on on that because after that decision was made that's when the announcement of his of a uh, recast was made afterwards i'm thinking if that never would have happened they could have lasted a little longer with just ignoring it or trying to just go forward with production without having to address it but the second a ruling was made on something mm-hmm. he did it I, that's why i said he, he kind of did it to himself uh, uh by uh, putting it out there like that but hey uh, again so let's just just keep hope alive yeah. Let's, let's let's cross our fingers, hold our breath, hope that we never hear about the Amber Heard Johnny Depp drama anymore. And I don't know what I'm finished. I don't I'm know what happened that. to the stream, but the time just started over on on something. Something glitched. It's still recording. And guys, that's if it, 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 uh, the person that's watching, if you can tell me what happened, I don't know if if we have. Uh, I'll, I'll double check the uh, the feed on it. But I guess it's a good time to. I guess. To close it out since that was the last one topic anyway so put it in the box yeah. below i hope it didn't interrupt the stream too bad mate i got to double check and make sure nothing um interrupted but i'll fix it later but guys uh thanks again once again for uh talking with us on talk to the media that is the show and i'm going to take another few seconds to let sarah do another shameless plug <laughs> for uh, the upcoming user. so where can we when you when you're talking all the your, your loki in and a glorious purpose where where can we find you discussing all of that again so we are on youtube um and their channel is called within the guild and yeah we talk about and their channel is called within the guild and yeah we talk about level 10 nerdiness we're also at within the guild on instagram so i i do that social media account but you can see all of my socials if i get my finger point in the right direction there it is all my (laughs) socials there thank you chris and um yeah we are going to talk about lots of nerdy stuff in the future i'm a big whovian so we'll talk about doctor who we'll talk about the internals all all that fun stuff so come watch us we say a lot of inappropriate jokes that are comic book related and it's just fun we have a fun time well you can say inappropriate jokes uh here too i mean on the uh on the segmentized uh, version of it it might get i might put a like a sensor little dolphin effect over that that is gonna go "Eh, eh, eh." so you can you can throw (laughs) the f-bombs live i mean if you want if you want to demonetize we don't really we don't really um curse so much as like adult appropriate humor. oh okay no the, okay in that case oh no in, in that case yeah go for it okay yeah. come on i got to push you on the spot give me an example come on come on let's oh go. oh okay well um in our last like three episodes um chip who's one of the the hosts on the show mm-hmm. um made a comment i think we're flickering i think are okay. you seeing that no, that we might be, but they they okay. maybe they might not see it. I'm I'm doing something. It might interfere. I apologize. I'm just confirming, guys. If if there's any interference or if or if there was a hiccup, just let me know in the comment section. And I'll fix it. But go ahead. No, go ahead. You said Chip. So the yeah, Chip was telling us about a um, a myth about Loki mm-hmm. and how we shouldn't be so surprised that there's a female Loki because. Um, Loki in mythology is gender swapping oh, okay. and this no, that... one time, which is one of the, this is the most like gross things that I've heard so far about the, the Norse myths about Loki. And I'm sure there's worse ones. So go ahead and write them down below if you know a worse one. But this one was, he um, decided to become a female horse. Mm. Okay. So he became a female horse to distract the, um, the other army's male horses and stallions. So what he did was he went over there and we're just going to say had relations with a whole bunch of them and Mm. enchanted them. And then he ended up later giving, (laughs) giving birth to horse babies, like more than one. This was in in the comic book. No, not, no, this is a a Norse myth. Oh, okay. God comic book. Although if it was in the comics, that would have been a little crazy. That would have been against but, the comic book code a little bit. <laughs> yeah, a little bit. 
but yeah so that's that's what that's like some of the stuff we talk about like did you know this crazy thing happened and um yeah so we've said that a few times we had another guest that came on thinking he was telling us a secret his name was alan and he ended up telling us the same thing that chip told us what and yeah it's funny that okay it, it's so, funny but like but like how is that i don't understand how that's distracting anybody that's not distracting anybody that's, I'll that's never, a, I mean, a little gross i'll never look at a, a horse the same way uh, again i'm like is that loki yeah. but uh, but anybody I, who knows horses knows that you know the gestational period of a horse you can only have one baby in there you know so it takes more than you know a couple of days to have horse babies and or, apparently or in my case it takes longer than six minutes huh Okay, <laughs> I get it. I understand. Yeah. The only thing is, and 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 like I said, you're not gonna. I know you're not gonna go deep into any Loki talk, and we're not gonna do it. I'll, and I'm go, about to get into a Loki discussion a little bit later. Um, yeah. Here's, but here's my. I think that the Loki series is, mm-hmm. uh, and I'm, I know it's been talked about before. It's this is definitely a Wizard of Oz inspired uh uh season or show because uh i i have a theory and i don't even i don't know if you want me to share it with you or, sure. or share. i think um the miss minutes i don't think i think the person behind the curtain is is i think the miss minutes is the uh, the the the, Oz, the wizard and then yeah. she uses the, whoever's behind the tinkering with behind the scene behind the curtain is using miss minutes to like you know be everywhere and all knowing and stuff because it's it's I don't know that's just my theory it's a Wizard of Oz inspired yeah. kind of a theory I think I think Miss Minutes is the villain but that's well, I, I'm I'm full on the Miss Minutes train as well like that's something else we talk about on ours um yeah I think Miss Minutes she's either behind it or has an exponential role in this in mm-hmm. um so in in this this episode that came out today on Loki it kind of gives us a little more insight we still have no idea who it is obviously right but um I think yeah, there's more we there. found a little bit more we got more miss minute screen time today so yeah hopefully. recording recording my ass like no, no she's not just a recording she's not, not just an AI she was now you guys if you haven't seen it go watch it she's she's a, she's sneaky well i mean historically like she is she's been created for this world Hmm. so we don't know when she was created she is an artificial intelligence she was not you know like a she's now like her own she's fully cognizant of herself so she's like the robots will take over the world kind of ia because she knows um so maybe she did maybe she did take over the world whoever made her she just went and just moved on yeah she definitely uh she's she's got marty mcfly you know kidnapped and tied up in the basement somewhere i don't know i'm just telling you that's my theory on it it's something but okay okay once again guys that's the show if you guys want to uh watch uh more you know what to do just become a subscriber follow us follow sarah on all of her social media ask us any questions you want and maybe we'll talk about it right here on we got your mail and this show was recorded in front of a live studio of audience of all you variants and we'll get into that a little bit later guys I'm Chris. 